Men and Mice introduces version 9.2 of the Men and Mice Suite, the network management overlay solution for your hybrid and multi-cloud DNS, DHCP, and IP address infrastructure environments. This video covering version 9.2 will focus on new and advanced features in the Men and Mice Suite web application and introduce two brand new modules exclusive to the Men and Mice Suite web application the reporting module and the workflow module. Let's take a moment to see what's new and enhanced in the Men and Mice Suite web application. Log into the web application. You can also use single sign-on with Active Directory if your network environment supports it. After logging in, the front page provides an overview of the system offerings, as well as access to help or support pages. The help sidebar is always on hand. Just click on the question mark icon on the top banner of the main menu. The web application is divided into two main sections, DNS and networks, whereas the DNS section focuses on managing DNS zones and records. The network section is dedicated to managing IP address ranges, DHCP scopes, and IP addresses. Basic reporting features are available in a separate section, aptly called reports. From version 9.2 of the Men and Mice suite, expanded reporting functionality and features are available to users in the form of the new reporting module. Additionally, and also new in version 9.2, is the workflow module, which allows users to request and schedule changes to DNS that administrators can either approve or reject. Both the reporting and workflow modules are available as a purchase upgrade to those licensing the Men and Mice suite version 9.2. More detailed information on the new reporting and workflow modules will appear in separate videos. Let's move on to navigating the system. In order to quickly find objects and data, use one of the following ways. The filtering sidebar, the quick filter, the inspector, or the quick command. The filtering sidebar offers a number of predefined filters to help narrow down the selection. These include useful built-in options, such as getting a list of zones on a particular server or a list of zones that have been flagged as favored zones. After having applied a predefined filter in the filtering sidebar, you can further narrow down the results by applying a quick filter, which is positioned above the main list. The inspector is located on the right side of the interface in all sections of the web application. It also displays all actions available for each item on the list. The inspector feature gives you an instant overview of more details for the selected object. After selecting a zone or a network from the list, the inspector helps you to gather more information on the object. Quick Command cuts down time for completing common DNS, DHCP, and IP tasks. It can be accessed either by clicking on the lightning icon on the top menu or by using the keyboard shortcut Control Space. For example, the Quick Command feature allows you to find and interact with DNS zones or records, IP address ranges or scopes, or IP addresses. To quickly edit a DNS record, simply enter its name in the Quick Command Select the relevant record and the action you wish to apply on the record. In this case, to edit the record. Finally, let's take a quick look at some of the changes within the web application between version 9.1, released in 2018, and the new Men in My Suite version 9.2. A new import function has been added to the network section. This function allows users to either paste in subnet and IP data to import, or drag and drop a CSV file into the dialog box containing data that they wish to import. In addition to adding and modifying data, the CSV data can contain commands to remove existing objects from the Men in My Suite. In this case, we opt to drop a CSV file with some IP address information into the import task and press the import button. A progress bar is displayed to let us know that the information has now been successfully imported. From version 9.2,
users can now view the audit history for all objects simply by selecting them and pressing the View History button in the Action section of the inspector. Press the filter icon to further certain events by particular users or within a specified time frame. The page footer contains information on the number of objects available to the user, as well as the number of objects that match a filter. Filtering has been greatly enhanced in version 9.2, with more distinct highlighting showing the matching entries, as well as clearer indication of how filtered ranges fit into the network hierarchy. Select one of the next videos to find out more on the brand new Men and Mice reporting and workflow modules. Or get in touch with Men and Mice directly at menandmice.com.